All right, let's talk about T accounts. T accounts are just accounting shorthand, little graphic representations of our individual ledger accounts. We'll have a ledger account for cash, for accounts receivable, for inventory, for accounts payable, for all of our accounts. And the T account is just a shorthand representation of one of those individual ledger accounts. One of the uh, challenges of those first few days of your accounting class is it may seem like everything looks like a T. There's the T account that we're going to talk about today. There's the balance sheet with assets on the left hand side, liabilities and owner's equity on the right hand side. When you're learning the rules for debits and credits, you might make yourself a little cheat sheet and students often think that looks like a um, T account. And in fact, students are so anxious to make T's appear, they'll often fill out their first journal entries as if they are in the form of a T. But there's really only one T account, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Remember our accounting cycle, our first step is to analyze the business transaction. If there is something that can be reliably measured in dollars, we'll record it. And we'll record it using journal entries, debits and credits. Our rules are that assets increase with debits, liabilities and shareholders' equity accounts increase with credits, expenses are debits, expenses are debits, expenses are debits, the opposite of expenses is revenue, so it increases with credits, and dividends start with the letter D, and that reminds us that they are also recorded with debits. And once we do that, once we record things in chronological order, we've got everything, but it's not listed in a very user-friendly manner. For example, during the first few days of April, we might have made these journal entries. We've got 10 different journal entries. My boss walks in and she says, how much cash do we have in the bank? I don't know. I can see that cash went up here. It went down here. But to come up with an answer for what the balance is in the cash account, I have to post these journal entries. I have to perform step three of the accounting cycle. And the T account is a graphic representation of that posting process. For example, in this first journal entry, we have a debit to cash of $50,000. T account has the name of the account at the top, a couple lines that look like the letter T, the left side is for debits, and the right side is for credits. So let's post, let's copy that $50,000 debit into the T account. And we will do the same thing for the credit to common stock. There'll be a T account for common stock, there'll be a T account for land, there'll be a T account for supplies, Etc. But today, let's just look at this cash account. And we'll do the same thing for all the debits and the credits into the cash account in these 10 journal entries. All right, so I posted all the debits to the left-hand side and all the credits to the right-hand side. So let's strike a balance. We'll add up all the debits and subtract all the credits. And that'll give us a balance of 33,300. Since it's a debit balance, we'll write it on the left-hand side and we'll draw a line so that we know that that is a balance and not just another debit entry. And like I say, we'll have T accounts for all our accounts. For example, accounts payable will have a T account and its normal balance will be a credit. So in your first couple days of accounting class, please don't be uh, confused by all the things that look like T accounts. There really is only one T account. It's just a graphic representation, accounting shorthand for the ledger account. And each of our accounts will have a ledger account. And each of those accounts can therefore be represented by a T account. The left-hand side is for debits. The right-hand side is for credits. Hope that helps.